I'm gonna ask you a question. I don't want you to take offense to this, but just take yourself out of being a Detroit Piston and just be you're now a basketball analyst. Should the Lakers have won? If you look at the back, the names on the back of the jerseys, yeah, they should have swept us. They really should have. Um, but as as you've seen and Perk, as you know, when you get that deep in the season, most of the time, the most connected team will come out on top. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just felt like, you know, styles make make fights and our style um, against theirs, you know, was superior even in the regular season when we played them like we they had a tough time with us. And um, I, I actually felt like if if they had lost to Minnesota. Um, I felt like that one would, could have went either way. That would have been a great mm. series. You know, you got you got Cassell, Spreewell, um, Ticket. Like, those guys match up really well with us, you know. So I, I when they beat Minnesota, I was happy because I felt mm. like there was no way the Lakers could beat wow. us. Wow. <laughs> yeah. so, so, Big Shot, you know one thing that I took from this series that I thought that was, that was key for you guys? I thought that y'all was in, like, great shape. Like from top to mm-hmm. bottom, like when I'm mm-hmm. I'm watching that series, like y'all y'all physically beat up on them, like y'all were physical with Shaq, like Ben Wallace and she yeah. was physical with them, like hard fouling, bodying them up, and then like y'all was taking turns on Kobe. You would go at Kobe sometimes mm-hmm. and face Sean and rip, but y'all was so like in shape, y'all were able to yeah. sustain it. And you know, like once you get that deep into the season, when you get into the finals, like you know you have to be in great shape in order to 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 get through it because everybody's pretty much on their last leg. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, it, it, it's no more to more after the final. So I just, I thought y'all was in great shape, but did y'all make an emphasis of that? Because I remember playing against y'all and I would see Rip running suicides like in games that he wasn't playing. Like, was that a mindset mm-hmm. in y'all locker room? Well, it was, Perk. It was. I mean, we wanted to. We felt like, I mean, the triangle to, for us was pretty easy to guard, and it was a slow offense. But we still, we picked up full court. I mean, you want to find, I, I don't have no business picking up full court, <laughs> really. But, right. I mean, you know, we picking up full court. We touching them. We we, we banging them. We Every cut, we, we challenging every pass. Like, we want, we said, listen, that's the only chance we got against these dudes. We got to make them uncomfortable. Um, and we got to hit them really hard just so they know, like, y'all not going to come in here and y'all not going to intimidate us. Um, We're we not going like that. If you beat us, you're just going to have to beat us. Um, And we just felt like, again, we had, you know, the styles matched up. We felt like um, going into the series, Shaq had three straight finals MVPs. We knew Kobe wanted one so bad. So, again, we playing into the psyche mm-hmm. of their whole team. Okay, play Shaq one-on-one. Double code, he's probably going to get frustrated and start pressing because if they win this thing, he wants that finals MVP. So we played into all that stuff, man, and we studied them like crazy. And you not only beat them, Chance, you dominated them. It was the largest upset in NBA Finals uh, history over the last 30 seasons by a mile. Um, quickly, before we, we wrap this up and get uh, to the start of the 04, uh, game five of the 04 Finals right on ESPN at 7 Eastern, I want I want to know, this was the last time that we saw Shaq and Kobe playing together um, was in that game. Did you have a feeling that this was going to be the last time they were playing together? Could you see a breakdown on that team? Um, or were you just focused on your yourselves? Well, no, we will again, like we knew that, you know, the little rift in, in, in their locker room was happening. And we felt like if we beat them the way, the fashion that we did, even though we didn't, you know, I didn't see us beating them like that. But we felt like if we beat them, at some point the Lakers was gonna have to make a decision. Mm-hmm. You know, these two dudes not really getting along, they're gonna have to choose Shaq or Kobe at some point. And this was gonna speed it up because yeah, they had won three straight chips. They was going for four, but that team right there wasn't the same team that won four chips. You add GP, who was one of my one of my idols, one of my heroes, and then Carl Malone, those dudes started. They didn't play on those other teams, so it was a different team. So they was already transitioning a little bit. Felt like they was trying to hit the grand slam in the last year. And when that didn't work, I knew they were going to have to make a decision. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.